Quem partiu, partiu chorando, quem ficou chorou também. Quem vai embora tem saudade, quem fica saudade tem. Vou me embora pra Bahia, um dia poder voltar. Olha eu que já conheço, saudade de mim eu relembrar. Hoje de mim não tem a dó, não me falei de ter pena. Já perdi tudo que eu tive por causa do amor dessa morena. Um anjo da palma capoeira, was the love of my life. What is capoeira? What's capoeira? Capoeira is a Brazilian martial arts created by the slaves in Brazil, the African Brazilians in Brazil, to fight against the slavery. So it's a, it's a martial arts that combines fight, uh, music, acrobatics, and instruments that was helping the slaves to fight for freedom. instrument and the songs and the music so important in capoeira? That's so important. The, the songs are important in capoeira because back on time, on the farms, the slaves, they couldn't press a martial arts. So they was, they were so authentic and they had a great idea to say, listen, let's play instruments and sing because nobody dance fighting. So if they see us dancing with instruments, we can press our fight. We can undercover our fight and they'll never notice we're training. So when we have to fight them on the field, we prepare it, we're strong, we know how to fight, and they don't even notice that we've been training, dancing, and singing uh, for the entire time. So that's why that we have the roda, which is a big circle with the instruments, so people from far away think that they are dancing. Yes, and that's so good and it was so genius back on time that even today, first time people see capoeira, they think that is a dance. Uh, that's a, so if you see that even today people think like that, imagine back on time on the 60s that uh, the guys could never imagine they was training martial arts. And you have to always understand that capoeira, in his essence, it's a real martial arts for fight for freedom. Capoeira was born as a simple hope of survival, used against the government to fight slavery, its practice became illegal, especially after the Golden Law, when the slaves gained their freedom. Capoeira back then was seen like bad people. Well, capoeira was so strong and so powerful as a, as a, as a freedom too. Thanks to old masters that was carrying uh, capoeira as a martial arts, that was teaching schools, and that was keeping a nice, uh, um, a nice work with capoeira and we should, we should give a name for one of them, it's Mestre Bimba. He was the responsible to, to put Capoeira as a martial arts school with uniform and uh, cords and regulations. And uh, his work was so good, and uh, Capoeira was getting so strong in Brazil that in 1930s, the government couldn't fight anymore against, and they recognized Capoeira as the unique, uh, authentic Brazilian martial arts. Once the practice of capoeira became legal in Brazil, it was just a matter of time to spread around Europe and the United States. And one of the first places was New York City. Mestre de Alon and Mestre de Lore Mil Machado was the first two capoeiristas uh, in the 70s who started the capoeira uh, here in the United States. Why at that time people had nicknames? It was a way to don't let people know the name. Because capoeira was prohibited, so if they knew your name, they could go and rest you. And just to keep the tradition, and uh, people do that still nowadays. Capoeira is montanha, it means mountain, and uh, I'm from France. Ah, so for Capoeira, I traveled to Brazil, where the group is from, France, Italy, Spain, and several cities in the States. The capoeira name is Disciplina, it means discipline. I've been doing this for almost 15 years. Capoeira is family, it's my home base, and at the end of the day, if there's anyone that I go to when I have problems, it's my family in Capoeira. In a way, you have to respect each other. It doesn't matter your size, it doesn't matter if you're a man, if you are a kid, if you are 
adult or a woman, everybody in the capoeira roda is the same. You have to play with respect, you have to follow the, the fundamentals. So I think capoeira is very powerful. My name is Urutum, it means war paint. Um, I've been training for 10 years and I am from Puerto Rico. Poeta combines many things from a workout. Um, it also, for me, combines the culture of Brazil, which is so great. Um, it means a lot of things for us. I've met a lot of people and my, you guys are now my family. That's the good thing about Capoeira, you get to meet a lot of people from all over the world and hence your family keeps keep expanding. I also met my wife in Capoeira, um, this was 10 years ago and you fast forward 11 years and now we have a kid, a Capoeirista to be. Capoeira, I like it. <laughs>